Well, good morning, guys. And a cool morning it is. I got up this morning, it was only 40 degrees here. What a difference. Mm. So I was just out grabbing a few of these late season blackberries, and late they are. Uh, of course, this has been a that kind of a year. Everything is late. So as you probably just saw in that video, you know, a lot of them aren't even aren't even ripe yet. They're still green. And we're on into September. It's like, what is going on? What a year. And I look back at my records. And I see that, uh, you know, everything was really late. It was a cold, wet spring. And uh, I didn't even get my garden in until June the 7th. So uh, really late. But, uh, well, that's the way it goes this year. Mm. Oh, man, they're good. I wish there was more of them. Speaking of the garden, I think we'll go down right now and uh, haul out some veggies uh, for lunch. I'm still picking away at that garden. Like I said, it's late this year, so uh, uh, the veggies are still growing. Uh, yeah, it was a, you know, it was a decent year for the garden. I mean, it wasn't uh, you know, a fantastic year or a bad year. It's kind of average for me. Uh, how was your guys' garden? Let me know in the comments below how your garden did this year. Uh, like I said, here, it was kind of average. It's late, but it's, you know, it's average. You know, you never know with uh, with a garden when you plant crops, you know, from one year to the next, um, whether you're going to have a, a, you know, a good year or a bad year or an average year. You know, I think that uh, all vegans, I think all vegans should have to be a farmer and try to grow their own their own crops and just feed themselves off of their own crops. I, I think they all should have to do that for at least a few years. Um <laughs> And we'd see how uh, how that works out for them. You know, you get a uh, a couple of years in a row where you have bad years. And I'll tell you, when your kids are starving and you're starving, and, uh, you know, all of a sudden, hmm, you know, that chicken looks pretty good over there, or that pig or whatever. Yeah, it kind of changes your, yeah, when you're, uh, you know, when you're starving, uh, things change fast. Anyways, you know, uh, I don't want to hit the vegans too hard. I do have a couple of friends that are vegans, I have to admit. Um, I have one friend, uh, she lives in California, and she's a vegan. Now, I know what you're thinking. California, vegan, she's probably crazy, but you know what? She's not. She's actually probably the most down-to-earth person you would ever meet in your life. Um, you know, and you wouldn't even know, you wouldn't even know she was a vegan um, if you met her. She doesn't talk about it. She doesn't preach about it. Uh, she just does her own thing and and she doesn't care what you do. I mean, and that's the way it should be, right? She she doesn't care. I mean, you can eat all the meat you want and it doesn't bother her a bit. Um, it's just not her thing. So that's cool. I understand that. And then I have another friend who's a vegan, lives here. And, uh, you know, we go way back too. And she, you know, she, she's okay, but, you know, she's a little preachy about it. Um, every time I see her, though, I'll tease her. I'll say, hey, I'll say, hey, Gina. I got a big moose steak for you. Why don't you come on over? We'll have a big moose steak on the grill. Have a couple of cold beers, just like old times. It'd be great. You know, and of course, anyways, I hear about it. But she knows I'm just teasing her. I'm just teasing. Also, as we're on our way to the uh, to the garden, I can see uh, my apple tree is doing really well this year. Looks like I'm going to have lots of lots of nice apples on this tree. So once all these uh, once all these uh, apples start to to fall on the ground. Um, that's when the bears uh, visit me every day and also the deer start wandering through and hopefully this year maybe a buck will wander through rather than just does if I'm lucky I also have some grapes too but uh, wow they're really behind this year they're not even not even close to being ready they're just they're just starting to turn turn purple Well, we'll start with some potatoes.
All right, got a few potatoes. That's one hill of potatoes. But my tomatoes are doing really nice. I love these little cherry tomatoes. Mm -mm -mm. I love, love, love them. Carrots didn't do really well this year, but let's see if we can't get something for lunch. That's decent. Ah, there's a nice little cucumber. And I still have green beans. I planted these ones late. So still quite a few green beans. All right, well, there's a good looking lunch. I even got an onion, some green beans, carrots, a couple cucumbers, some potatoes. Well, before we have lunch, because it's still early, one thing I got to do is uh, change the oil on that ATV. Um, that's got to get done. So let's take care of that, and uh, then we'll have some lunch. But before we do that, I want to show you something. So I took this video um, the other day, and uh, I've never seen anything like it myself. It's a hornet's nest, and it's inside it's inside my shed. Every time I go in there, I always look up because, you know, they do build in there and, you know, I don't want them to take me by surprise. So I looked up and there was this hornet's nest, but it wasn't a normal hornet's nest. It didn't have a hive. There was no hive. Anyway, have a look at the video and then tell me what you guys think. Now, guys, I've got something here that I haven't seen before a hornet's nest but without a hive found this in my shed I always look up because I never know if there's gonna be a little hornet's nest and I see you know like usually they're like this one over here to the left or to the right and you know you can you can spray up in them and you know get rid of them but this is <laughs> this is new for me this has been here for a few days and it's a hornet's nest, but without a hive. I don't want to get too close. I don't want them to light me up here, but... Now, isn't that the strangest thing? Has anybody seen anything like that before? Because <laughs> that's, honestly, that's new to me. If you know anything more about that or why they, they did it like that, definitely let me know below because, uh, yeah, that's a new one for me. Yeah, definitely um, let me know in the comments below if you guys know anything about that. I don't know anything about that because I've never seen that before. Anyway, it's interesting. Well, I just took the ATV for a quick ride and... Uh, Got it warmed up. You want to make sure that the uh, oil is warm before you change it so it'll all drain out easier. For my ATV, uh, I always run Ames Oil, 0W40, full synthetic. Best oil you can get. And uh, yes, it's expensive, but I like to call it cheap insurance because uh, down here, I want everything to work. I don't care what the temperature is. I don't care if it's 20 below. I want equipment to start. And, and I want it to work. Same with the tractor, same with my truck. Because uh, you never know what's going to happen down here. You always got to have a plan A, B, and C. So I want something to start just in case I need to go someplace, you know, in case something happens. And uh, uh, zero, zero 040 full synthetic, it's so much easier on your engine. 20 below, I can start that, that ATV up, no sweat, no problem at all. Same as my tractor. Uh, I run uh, full synthetic in that as well, 040. Man, what a difference. I'll talk more about that in another video because I do have to change oil in that, in the tractor. 
but uh, today I just want to get the oil changed in the uh, in the ATV. Oh, there we go. These drain plugs are magnetic, so uh, any little bits and tiny, tiny slivers of uh, metal will stick. It keeps it out of your engine. So I'm going to clean that off. That looks a lot better. Cleaned it all off. It had a lot of junk on it. It's always very important every time you change your oil, if you have a magnetic drain plug, make sure you clean off that magnet. All right, next up is the oil filter. There we go. Everything's hot too. Wow. There we go. And the new filter is a Wix. Always put a little light film of oil on the o-ring remember oil filters only go on until they tighten and then quarter of a turn Never put an oil filter on too tight. Time to get rid of the old oil. Make sure you dispose of your oil correctly. I save this oil uh, up and when I have a uh, if I have a couple of these five gallon jugs full, um, I know this guy, he has a shop and he has an incinerator and he burns used motor oil and uh, he, he, that's how he heats his shop in the winter. So it's a great way to get rid of old oil and he gets free heat. Uh, sure is a beautiful day here. Anyways, it warmed up fast too. Um, anyway, I'm done. Got a lot done this morning, so I'm happy. And uh, now I'm kind of hungry, so uh, yeah, I think that's lunch. All right, here we go. I have my bamboo steamer full. Potatoes, carrots, green beans, onions. I'll set this right on here. Right, we're about uh, 13 minutes or 14 minutes in here, so this should be ready. Yeah. Wow, was that ever good? Hmm. Well, guys, another beautiful day here at the cabin. Man, love it. Anyways, I want to thank everybody for uh, joining me today. I appreciate it. Um, if you're new, subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Uh, if you don't mind, smash that thumbs up button. I appreciate the support. And uh, don't forget to leave those comments below, guys. Love those comments. Keep them coming. And uh, you guys take care, and we'll see you soon back here at the cabin.